This lecture is on gas stoichiometry. What is gas stoichiometry? Recall stoichiometry is the quantitative study of the relative amounts of reactants and products in chemical reactions. Gas stoichiometry involves chemical reactions that produces gases. Things to be looking for in performing these problems, one molar mass, two molarity, three density, four mole ratio, five ideal gas law, six molar volume, seven pressure conversion factors, eight correcting for pressure of dry gas in water. Well, in our lecture, we may not get through doing each one of these examples. The hope is you'll be able to acquire the skills needed to solve problems where gases are produced. So let's look at some examples. Problem one is what volume of oxygen at SCP is needed to react with solid sulfur to form 3.5 L of SO2? The reaction is S plus O2 forms SO2. Given the volume of SO2 is 3.5 L or 3.5 liters, one needs the volume ratio between SO2 and O2, which is 1L of O2 over 1L of SO2. Although not needed, the molar volume of any gas like O2 is 22.4L per mole at SCP. The solution at is V in liters of SO2 to V in liters of O2. The solution is after plugging in all the values and converted factors is 3.5L of O2. Problem two is determine how many moles of water vapor will be produced at one ATM and 200 Celsius units by the complete combustion of 10.5 L of methane gas. The reaction is CH4 plus 2O2 forms CO2 plus 2H2O. It is given that the volume in liters is 10.5 L of CH4, T equals 200 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is one ATM. One needs the mole ratio between H2O and CH4, which is two mole of H2O to one mole of CH4. Additionally, the ideal gas law equation, which is PV equals NRT, and rearrange the solve for N, which equals PV over RT. R is the universal gas constant, which is 0.0821 LATM over mole K. Lastly, one needs the equation for converting the temperature from Celsius to Kelvin units, which is the temperature in Celsius units plus 273.15. The solution map is by first using the values of V, T, and P for CH4 and convert by the ideal gas law to mole of CH4 and then by multiplying the mole ratio in converting to moles of H2O. The solution begins by finding the temperature in Kelvin units, which is 473.15 K. Since N equals PV over RT, plugging in all the values equals 0 0.270 mole of CH4. Lastly, take the moles of CH4 and multiply it by the mole ratio of two moles of H2O to one mole of CH4 to get 0 0.540 mole of H2O. Problem three is solid potassium metal will react with Cl2 to form solid potassium chloride. How many liters of Cl2 gas are needed to completely react with 0.204 G of potassium at SCP? The reaction is 2K plus Cl2 forms 2KCl. Given that the mass is 0.204 G of K, and the mole volume of CL2 at SV is 22.4 liters per mole of CL2. One needs the mole ratio between CL2 and K, which is one mole of CL2 over two mole of K. Also, the molar mass of K is needed, which is 39.10 G of K per one mole of K. The solution map starts with G of K and divide by the molar mass of K to get mole of K and then multiply by the mole ratio, which is one mole of Cl2 over two mole of K to get mole of Cl2. And lastly, multiply by the mole of rod of Cl2 at SCP, which is after plugging all numbers, 
equals 0.058L of Cl2. Problem four is when chlorine is added to acetylene, one, one, two, two, tetrachloroethane is formed. The reaction is 2Cl2 plus C2H2 formed C2H2Cl4. How many liters of chlorine will be needed to make 75G of C2H2Cl4? It is given that the mass is 75G of C2H2Cl4, T is 298 Kelvin units, and P is 1 atm. One needs the mole ratio between C2H2Cl4 and Cl2, which is two mole of Cl2 over one mole of C2H2Cl4. Next, the ideal gas solve is needed, where the equation PV equals NRT is rearranged to solve for V, which equals NRT over P, with R equals 0.0821L atm over mole K. Lastly, the mole mass of C2H2Cl4 is needed, which is 167.8G per mole of C2H2Cl4. The solution map starts with grams of C2H2Cl4, and after dividing by the mole mass gives moles of C2H2Cl4. Then using the mole ratio to express in moles of Cl2. And lastly, with the ideal gas law, using the moles, temperature, and pressure, along with the gas constant and solving for the volume of Cl2. After plugging in the values obtained, it is 0.8939 mole of Cl2. And once entered in the ideal gas law along with the other values, a final volume of 22 liters is obtained. Here are some review exercises for you to work on. Solve each of the following problems. One, what is the molarity of 5L sodium hydroxide solution that would completely react with 2L of carbon dioxide gas measured as CP? The reaction is 2NaOH plus CO2 forms Na2CO3 plus H2O. Two, how many milliliters of nitrogen can be made from 13L of chlorine and 10L of ammonia gas at SCP? The reaction is 2NH3 plus 3Cl2 forms N2 plus 6HCl. Three, what volume of oxygen measured at 35C and 752MMHG is required to burn 3.26 grams of calcium. The reaction is 2Ca plus O2 forms 2CaO. Four, how many mLs of 0.50m nitric acid are required to release 3.44 liters of hydrogen gas and 1.33 atm and 45C? The reaction is 2HNO3 plus Zn forms ZnNO3 parentheses 2 plus H2. For the main part of this lecture are solutions to review exercises or problems. Please view only after completing these exercises. 